All right, guys, you've asked for it. This is our watch video. So these are all Rolexes I wear daily and I pair with the cars, the Ferraris that I drive. So let's get into it. Here we have the 18 karat uh, Everose day date with a green dial. So this is quite cool, very kind of executive business watch, right? Next we have the um, 18 karat white gold uh, day date with the green dial. I like the green dial, just more special, more rare. Uh, again, another uh, business type of uh, watch, power watch. Okay, then we have this uh, platinum uh, Pearl Master uh, with the Black Mother Pearl uh, diamond dial. So that's pretty cool. This is platinum, so a lot of weight to it. Also, kind of a maybe a fancy um, dinner watch, right? And here we have more of the sport watches, right? You have the Oyster Perpetual with the yellow dial, which of course you match with the yellow cars. Um, a lot of my recent uh, yellow F15 and uh, yellow Enzo would, would be a good pair. And then here we have a, uh, again, a steel uh, Oyster Perpetual with like a, a well, coral or red dial. This is pretty much like a red, when I'm paired with the red uh, Ferraris. Then here you have uh, the steel Oyster Perpetual with the green dial. I always love green, you know, my company color is green. So that, a lot of occasions maybe to wear it uh, with that. Okay, over here we have Submariner, uh, steel Submariner, which is a diver's watch uh, in the green, right? The, the, the special green bezel, that's cool. Uh, some people call it the uh, uh, Starbucks, okay? Then we have the GMT, steel GMT, which is a world time zone, right? Uh, a, a world time zone watch and they call that the Pepsi because of, it looks like a like a Pepsi uh, logo right then you have the another steel GMT uh, that is with the black and blue which they call the Batman very useful especially GMT when you travel with it you know you can change times really quick and know where your local time is and where your international traveling time is then we have the a white gold uh, a Daytona in with blue dial so it, uh, it, this is all white gold, has more weight to it and a little bit more precious of a Daytona, which is a stopwatch chronograph. Then we have here kind of the prior version of the uh, steel Daytona where the bezel is steel. So this is uh, steel with a white dial and the silver uh, circles, sub dial. Then we have the new uh, Daytona, steel Daytona with a black ceramic bezel and black dial. And then we have the steel Daytona with the black ceramic bezel uh, with the white they, and, and I hear they call it the Panda too. So that's uh, all these are the chronograph sport watches. So you know there's a big interest within the Rolex line of the Daytona. There have always been, I mean for as long as I was a dealer, uh, the Daytona was always the most popular, very rare. Um, I remember one time I was wearing this going to church and somebody and I felt like it's present somebody coming up next to me and and then I when I turned around I saw him he he turned back and said to his friend yeah it's really a Daytona like it's that rare that somebody would come up and and and, and spot it out like that or if I go to a official Rolex jeweler in in Asia and I walked in with wearing this they're like wow you know the salespeople can I see it I you know we don't see these watches you know um, and it's so rare so it, it's always had that mystique, but let me tell you a little bit more about it, why that could be. The Daytona for many years were the most complicated model that uh, Rolex made, because the Daytona is really a stopwatch. And why is it called Daytona? Because it, it is, was named after the race, the Daytona, the 24 hour of Daytona, which is an endurance race uh, that the race car driver uh, drives for 24 hours and to see how many laps they could get. Uh, and uh, it's an endurance, right? It shows toughness, it shows endurance, right? And, and actually, a winner of that competition, 24-hour Daytona, the race car driver would be rewarded uh, one of these watches and engraved in the back. I remember even at one point in all Daytonas where they only made in the production lineup, and this was numbers a year ago, um, 5,000 for the world. I mean, 5,000 is not gonna, doesn't feed the demand of the world. It's not a limited edition, but it is in a way limited production. 
So it, that's why it's just so highly sought after. So let me tell you about what also contributes to the success of Rolex. You know, when even at its birth in the early 1900s, it's it was special. It wasn't a in those days. A lot of people have names like Patek is a name and Philippe's a name, Audemars a name and Piguet is a name, Vacheron is a name and Constantine is a name, right? Rolex wasn't a there wasn't a Mister Rolex. Okay, uh, the owner was uh, Hans Waldorf. The reason why he decided Rolex was Rolex was just a name that in all countries everybody can say. They can say it easily and it sounds good. Um, they really were the first to make us a, a sport watch on a wrist. They were the first to have these athletes and professional people wear the watch and, and it had a lot of milestones. They were first really to have the automatic movement on the wrist. But really what was I think was very special is that uh, the owner, uh, Hans Wildorf, did not have any kids and so the company was set up in a foundation. When you have that kind of ownership, when it's a foundation, when it's almost like a nonprofit, um, it's different than a lot of the companies. It's not being sold, eat up by the group. It's not about a profit and loss. They only have a decision is to make the best watch in the world, to continue to preserve and do that, to help the profit, to help charity. No personal, no one person is getting the personal gain. There's no owner of Rolex and it's designed that money is thrown putting back in to make a better watch so I think uh, that's very special in um, in the watch industry and uh, that I think adds to the success of Rolex as you know I like to pair my uh, watches with my car and uh, although I don't have a green car I do have this a green Oyster Perpetual and I would like to ask you which car you think would look good if I pair this uh, watch to it. Please uh, comment below and let me know. <laughs>